Target has made a controversial decision to get rid of gender-based labeling. Okay, now this all kind of happened after they caught a little bit of heat for a picture that went viral. So let's take a quick look at the picture. Um, and it was posted by Abby Betchel. And apparently it had to do with play sets so, or building sets, I should say. Uh, so they had building sets and then they had <laughs> specified girls building sets. I don't know what that means. Does it mean that the building set is pink? Why Basically. Is, is it yeah. customized to women? So people were upset about this. And then Target was like, you know what? We're going to be super progressive and we're just going to get rid of all gender labeling. So here's what they said about that. Over the past year, guests have raised important questions about a handful of signs in our stores that offer product suggestions based on gender. We know that shopping preferences preferences and needs change and as guests have pointed out in some departments like toys home or entertainment suggesting products by gender is unnecessary so uh, the picture that got attention only was retweeted 2,000 times like I know that sounds like a lot but in the grand scheme of things 2,000 isn't that big of a deal mm -hmm. but I applaud them for listening to a small number of people who are concerned about this now the question is is this a good idea now, I think that gender is something that's actually hardwired, and I think certain components of it are influenced by our environment. And so I don't think that this is going to change some kid's preference of what he or she wants to play with, but I like that it kind of creates an environment where they get to make that decision on their own, and they won't get scolded for it, and there won't be the same stigma attached to it. So I think we are moving toward a more progressive ideology when it comes to all this, but maybe you guys agree or disagree. Hank, make your point. I think that what Target did was great. I think that they're really respecting and listening to their audience. But that being said, um, and I hope I don't get any kind of backlash for saying this, but I saw that sign and I wanted to know more. And I didn't on the onset think that it was so offensive. Because right. once again, it's sort of like, is it just is it a, is it just pink? Or like, what are you putting in there? Is it, is it, is it like, like, you know, Barbie branded Legos? Because the thing is like, those are those are uh, toys that guys don't want to play with. So really, it's it's like an organizational thing. Uh, to me, the equivalent is like, oh, this is the left-handers aisle, right? Yeah. And people are gonna be like, whoa, 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 we're the same as everybody. It's like, no. If this is what you're looking for, this is where you're gonna find it. It's just a big store. Yeah, I, I think look, honestly, what you're saying isn't yeah. unreasonable at all. Like, yeah. I don't. Maybe I'm gonna get heat for this, but I never really had a problem with the gender labeling anyway. Yeah. But I do see the upside of what Target is now doing. Mm -hmm. So I guess, I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I'm torn, I just see the perspectives of both sides mm -hmm. in this case. What about you, Becca? Make your point. I'm a, I'm a little more sensitive to the idea of gender labeling. I think Target knows about the building blocks yeah. it takes to create <laughs> Customer loyalty, and I really agree. Good pun. Yeah, yeah good pun. I agree that uh, they've they've won me over certainly by being open and accessible to their customers, especially on an issue that is right now very trendy, in fact, and um, that everyone is sort of con uh, discussing. It's very controversial, but I think that when children are very impressionable at a young age, the kinds of cues that we um, give them are mm -hmm. very important. And something even as simple as like girls play with pink blocks uh, or blocks that look maybe less hardcore than the dude blocks, whatever that is. Right. Yeah. That, that's, I don't know exactly, we didn't see the pictures of it, but that's why companies like Goldie Blocks and some of these, um, they're focused on bringing women into science and mathematics yeah, and engineering. I, that kind of, so those cues happen at an early age and I just think we should never discourage a child from any intuitive passion or interest. Yes, I agree with and you And you can that. do that inadvertently even with subtle signs. Mm. But what I what I would argue is that it's not necessarily the job of Target, but the job of toy manufacturers to put products out there that motivate and encourage girls to get into things like science mm. or math or whatever it is. And I know that when I was a kid playing with toys, a lot of them were based on like, oh, you can dress your doll up in this, or exactly. oh, look, here's a little... Playhouse. It's and, branding. And yeah, yeah. you just assume yeah. that that's as a girl, if you're fed that just in, uh, like you inadvertently your whole life, you just assume that as a woman, I'm supposed to be interested in that. Right. You know, it, I do think gender is can certainly be seen as hardwired, but it's the idea of gender fluidity yeah. and. I think the social pressures around it are, are real. Yes. All right, so here's the question for the story What's a gender specific activity you were told to do when growing up? I was really lucky. I never got pushed in a certain direction. If I decided I wanted to cut all my hair off like China Phillips <laughs> and be an androgynous child model, which I did for a little while, my family was like, fine. Let's see that photo. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all will, yeah, will yeah, die. Y'all will die. 
Um, I, you know, I decided I wanted a horseback ride. They let me do that. I played lacrosse. I uh, did a lot of um, impromptu karaoke in the middle of my house. Whatever I decided I wanted to do, I wasn't ever really steered in a direction so in an had, aggressive way. So you had super progressive parents that they were, like, were very do what you need cool. To do. And they that. just weren't heavy handed in general. Some parents are like, I really need you to be a soccer star. I really need you to do X, Y, or Z. They sort of just let me steer the boat a lot. Yeah. And obviously there's whatever general social uh, infrastructure I was raised in being in the South and being a woman. Mm -hmm. Those I'm sure those things influenced me, but Jen, I don't. I never got like hardcore pressed. That's awesome. What about you, Hank? I feel like you and I might have had similar backgrounds with like immigrant parents that are a little hardcore. Yeah, a little. Well, yes. To that point, my, my dad, uh, when he was growing up in Taiwan, was very athletically, uh, I don't know, adept, equipped, whatever. So he tried to get me into every. I mean, I'm, we're talking basketball and oh, baseball. No. How'd that go? I, can you just, it was literally me, just me running away from the balls, which I don't do anymore. I was gonna say, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what, no. I was like, he better not no. be serving that up no. if he's not gonna just no. get it home. No, <laughs> so when I was little, I used to run away from balls, but I, but yeah, but I mean, I, every summer there was basketball camp, and like the baseball camp I couldn't even handle, uh -huh. like, 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 now you would like, be excited oh, to go to that camp. That's true. Though. That's now true. Now you'd be all about those but, balls. But yeah, right. That's up. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't even know how to follow that up. Um, my mom made me clean the house every Saturday. <laughs> that's and just so, straight up labor. That's not even gender norms. That's just no, labor. But it was hilarious because my brother would like sleep until one. That's and bullshit. I'd get up at like eight, and uh, my mom would be like, "Now it is time for you to dust the living room." Uh, and the China set. Okay? You have to learn to be clean. And so yeah, that's what I that's what I did I on mean, Saturday morning. Oh my gosh, my mom knew. I and it was you know I think there was a little bit of comparative advantage at my house. My mm -hmm. mom's a great cook. My sister's a great cook. I just sat in the kitchen, provided color commentary. So my ass doesn't even know how to fry a damn egg. But they they were like just don't even get her near the kitchen. If yeah. you act like a big enough of um, just a, like if you just are totally useless enough in, in the kitchen, yeah, yeah. And just let it go. They'll let yeah. you. They're just like get out. They don't yeah. want you breaking. Stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, my parents' yeah. uh, parenting taught me how to be OCD, and I'm like constantly cleaning my apartment as a result of that. I, right. I don't know. I guess that's a good thing. Um, Did they ever use the china sidebar? Did they ever use the china? There's always a set of dishes that are yeah. so important. It's like we never fucking use. It's this. like the beautiful china that's there for show. Yes, yeah. uh, we use it time to time, yeah. but very rarely. Once a year. Yeah. I want to know what you guys think, though. So comment in the section below. Tell us what you think about Target. I know that it's a controversial issue. I know that the majority of you watching are men, and you probably think this is ridiculous but try to be respectful comment in the section below and tell me what you think about this share some constructive criticism some interesting points we do read your comments and we do respond to them we'll see you guys soon have a good one